It's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be preparing one of my favorite meals to prepare, like a special occasion meal, and it's my version of the All-American Steak Dinner. Just sit in this. Stay tuned. First, we're going to start by getting our sweet potato peeled and ready to prepare for chopping. Now, I pick the biggest sweet potato that I can find for at least like two servings. But you're going to get as much as you need for you or whoever you're cooking for. And the key to cooking the sweet potato is to cut it in the same size so that it all cooks at the same time. So you don't have some being overcooked and some undercooked. we're going to get our baby broccoli and we're going to give it a good rinse and chop off the ends of it and we're going to season it up with some red pepper flakes, some garlic powder, some onion powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, some coconut aminos, some honey. We're going to get it all mixed up and add some olive oil in so we can get it roasting in the oven. One, two, three. Now after my steak has been washed and rested to room temperature, I'm going to get it seasoned up with my favorite steak seasoning. It's the Jack's Barbecue All-Purpose Seasoning. I will have it linked down below. When I say it is bomb, it is bomb. Get you some. Now many people will have many different opinions on how to get a good steak, but I believe the key to a good steak you make in or break in it is that crust, getting that good first sear on both sides. So you need to wait for your oil to warm up to get that. During this time, you can check on your broccoli that's in the oven that's been roasting, you know, give it a couple of tosses so one side's not getting too burnt. You can check on your sweet potatoes. Once that oil is super hot and ready to go, you're going to lay your steak down. And don't be like me, I need you to lay it down and leave it alone because you don't want it to get bothered and that crust to not be able to form up. So try to hold back from like messing with it too much because you want it to get that good crust on it. Now also, you're gonna cook it to your liking. I like my steak to be medium, sometimes medium rare whenever I'm preparing a steak. However, up to you, cook it however you want to cook it. It's gonna all deal with the temperature and the time that you leave it in the oil. Now, the key to a good, good steak as well is basting. You need to baste your steak. So what I like to do is add a whole garlic clove. I like to add in some dried thyme or whatever you have. You can add some rosemary, some sage, and then I'm going to add in some butter and then I'm going to baste my steak. Just let it spoon it all, get all of those nice flavors that's been marrying on there and then I'm going to take my steak out of the oil and then we're going to let it rest on a wooden board. At this point, we're going to take our sweet potatoes that are all tendered and we're going to drain off the water and then we're going to return it right back into the pan that it cooked in. During this time, we're going to season it with some cinnamon, we're going to season it with some brown sugar, we're going to add in some pure vanilla extract, and then I take my electric uh, mixer and just mix it all together to get it really, really creamy for our meal. You 
thought we were going to let those steak drippings go to waste. You were clearly mistaken, my friend. We are gonna chop up some mushrooms. I'm just using some Baby Bella mushrooms. And we're going to return those mushrooms to the pan that we cooked our steak in. And remember, we had all that goodness from the seasoning from the steak. We had our garlic still left in there. Time, we're gonna add in some butter and we're gonna caramelize these mushrooms for a great topping on our steak. Now here's the fun part, plating. I am no professional, but after many years of watching the Food Network, I do enjoy and appreciate good presentation to your plate. So we're gonna take our sweet potatoes first and we're gonna smear it. Now we're gonna take our well-rested steak, and when I say well-rested, I want you to take your steak off the heat and leave it alone, let it rest to absorb those juices. Trust me, do not cut your steak immediately off of taking it out of the oil. Don't do it to yourself. Cut up your steak and then we are going to lay it right on top of our sweet potatoes. We're going to get our baby broccoli that's been roasted to perfection and I'm going to lay it to the side. We're going to just do a quick little drizzle of coconut aminos just to pair and complement everything and tie it all together on top of the steak and the sweet potatoes and we're going to top it with our caramelized mushrooms. I like to clean up my plate, so I'll just take a paper towel and just get any of the smears or juices that's been left for me plating off of the plate for just a better presentation. And here is the final presentation. What it may lack in like aesthetics, honey, it packs in flavor and taste, okay? Since you spent so much time preparing this meal, you might as well take a little bit of extra time and prepare your dining room table. This is a meal that should be enjoyed either in a nice locale or your dining room table. And we're gonna light some candles. We're gonna use our nice dining room plates and nice silverware. We're not using any type of paper plates and we're gonna set the mood. Enjoy that meal. If you guys enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it for you. Um, it is bomb. It is bomb. So if you are ever in need of like date night ideas or just any type of meal to cook for your family, I feel like this is one that you should add in your arsenal because it is a game changer. In my book, I think it's so good. Ovations, it's so good. There's never anything left on the plate. If you like it, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also turn on your bell notification to be notified of any of my future uploads. You can leave me a comment down letting me know what you like or you know if you're gonna make this meal, please let me know. I would love to hear what your thoughts are and give me a good like because it really helps me out in the future. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and an even better meal. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.